Hello YouTubers, Brownies and Pegasisters, and we're at that time, yes again and my little pony fans and children of all ages who would like to look at this channel. Today, in this story, you, you are born Twilight gave birth her parents are unknown after after at the hospital in Ponyville it she gave birth to you the uh, magical unicorns use their power and put you in one of those bed things. Spike was jealous. After all, he he got most of the attention off Twilight. Twilight. After a little nap and then waking up, Twilight put Twilight puts you in a cot. Then you fall asleep. A few year, a few months and years later, you are now six year old. Y your colour is a is a orange brownish colour and your horn is an orange colour you twilight wants you to um to uh find some books for her uh spike is going to assist you. Spike tried to desist. Oh no way, Twilight! I don't <laughs> think to do with this. Twilight looks down at Spike. Spike, come on. So, so Spike says, "All right," and out you went. You went to uh, Rarity because she had a book that she lent from Twilight. It was called How to Fashion. She enjoyed that book so much that she read it about three times. She gave she gave you the book back and say, "Thank you." And while and uh, Spike carried the book for you. So, next, next you went to, uh, to, to the farm. It was quite a long walk, and Applejack came out. Well, howdy! This book, I only got uh, at least halfway through it. I'm so sorry. Here, though, take it. Thanks to that book, I know how to make apple cider the good way. Next, what? Next house to visit was Fluttershy, and it was the last house. Flutter, Fluttershy, shy, being shy, says. Thanks for the book. Here you go. And she gives you the book. And she quick, and she quickly, she quickly makes a little shriek, <coughs> and shuts the door. <laughs> you, Spike puts the books on your back, and then you start walking. As you walk, you, as you walk, you turn around to see Spike, but he's nowhere to be seen. 
Oh no, you've lost Spike and you're in the middle of Ponyville. You asked the mayor if he's seen Spike. He hasn't. Oh, she hasn't. You ask local ponies if they've seen a, a purple dragon. They haven't either. Then, out from nowhere, popped Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie and Spike shocked you. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a good prank, said Rainbow Dash. Dash to Spike. Spike says, Oh yeah, I agree. And Pinkie Pie says, Woo, yay, yay, woo. You, you, quit, you got angry and Rainbow Sash says, Sorry. You, Spike picks up your, the books. It was getting to evening. You've been through Honeyville all day. You gave Twilight the books back. She says, thank you. You climb upstairs, but before then, Prince... Princess Luna comes in. Hello, where's the little bundle, she says. Oh, there you are. And she were cutie. Well, upstairs. And she uses her horn power to uh, put you to bed. Twilight whispers. Next week, we're going to try using some magic. You giggle in excitement. Twilight uses her magic to put the du the two duvets over you and you fall asleep. In the middle of the night, Spike whispers in your ear. Or maybe it was just a dream. Gotcha. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. 55, 56, 57, 58, 59.